Pressure. Oil pressure, 85 and rising. Hydraulic levels. Hydraulic levels all full. Brake system status. Hey, okay. Boiler pressure. 300 pounds and building. World cruiser to control tower. Requesting permission to move on out. Final world cruiser cleared to depart. Please acknowledge. Now remember, get it to 400 maximum pressure by the time we reach the bridge. Copy that, and thanks for the hospitality. See you next time. Oh, that sure felt like the real thing to me, Dr. Z.W. It sure did, Ned. And what did the brilliant Mr. Pullmore think? Joe, how did it feel to you? It's handled like a dream. Bobby, Nancy, how did you kids like it? That was the coolest thing ever, Dad! You kids did great. If I was still back driving trains for the old Erie Lackawanna, I'd be happy to have you two as my crew anytime. <laughs> you're just saying that because you're our grandpa. You're darn right I am. And I'm proud of how you two handled yourselves. Best darn crew I ever had. <laughs> Don't tell your dad. But he was all thumbs when he was your age. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> it was perfect. From down there at ground level, it's virtually impossible to tell that the train and crew weren't real. This is the breakthrough I knew we could accomplish. Breakthrough that's going to make this year's train exhibit at Great Central Terminal a triumph. I agree that it worked well, Dr. Z.W., but we need a lot more testing and documentation before it's ready to show in public. Joe, you saw it for yourself. The new Lionel Reality Cruiser system was flawless. But the circuit boards, the conductors. I know you disagree, but I can't shake the feeling that maybe we're trying to go too far. Joe. If there's one thing I have left to teach you, it is that in the promotion of science, or oneself, there's no such thing as too far. Remember, Joe, science and fortune favor the bold. That was absolutely amazing, sir. I knew that our new invention would make the trains and crews so lifelike that they would be virtually real. Our creation will revolutionize the way people think about model trains. Why, thank you, Bruno. I'm so relieved to hear that our invention has lived up to your lofty expectations. Please be assured, Dr. ZW, that I have taken personal responsibility to make sure that the Lionel World's exhibit is perfectly prepared and Mommy. well. Mommy! Hi, kids. How was it? It, it was, was great! great. That I have Sally, my dear, you just missed the most amazing display of my and Joe's new reality cruiser system. Okay, kids, fun's over. Now, the grown-ups are going to stand around and tell themselves how smart they are. What say we go and find some hot chocolate? Oh, my favorite! Bye, Mom! Bye, Dad! Don't keep your Grandpa up all night. Sorry I missed it, but from the noise you guys were making, I figured things went pretty well. Pretty well, indeed. It was perfection! Exactly as I knew it would be, and just in time for tomorrow's opening. 
My goodness, EW. I thought the new system was months away from being ready. I thought so too, my dear. But our Joe here has managed to pull it all together just in the nick of time. Well, hold Again. on, ZW. I never intended what I cobbled together for the test to be used now, in... Now, now, my boy, I insist. You have done an amazing job under my direction, of course, but an amazing job nonetheless. And I am determined to display our great invention at this year's exhibit. I know the timing is essential, Dr. ZW, but I still feel strongly that we need more time. Sally, to... your husband is one of the most brilliant physicists in the entire world. Alas, he's also one of the most modest. You and I must undertake to teach our boy genius how to promote and showcase his gifts. In fact, the next lesson will take place in about 20 minutes, when I'm interviewed on World News Service Morning Show. Speaking of which, I thought you might like to see a full description of all the Lionel worlds that we've built for this year's display. Even without the World Cruiser, it's still the most ambitious thing we've ever done. I swear I didn't put her up to it, but since it's back on the table, just hear me out. The circuit boards and code I put together for this test were prototyped. Very well, Joe. I understand your concerns, and I am prepared to compromise. To ensure the security of the project, I've decided that Bruno will be personally responsible for the safety of the Lionel World Cruiser. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for the confidence you've shown in me. As long as I draw breath, I... Yes, yes, Bruno. Now, come along and give the World Cruiser a bath. Yes, sir. Right away. Ready to roll. On air in 10 minutes. Wish me luck. Knock him dead. Playing with trains, Bruno. Choo choo. <laughs> Bruno doesn't just play with trains. He's an important scientist. Why look, Dr. ZW has entrusted him with the famous World Cruiser. Well, why don't we just take it now? Because this is just a mechanical parlor trick. Simple robotics the old man invented ages ago. The boy genius took the circuit boards to his workshop. And just left the engine shell for me to clean. Like leaving his shoes to shine. The circuitry is what you want. When can we have it? Tonight, Great Central Terminal. Don't worry. It'll be much easier next time. Good morning. I'm Barbara Sawyer, and welcome to the office of legendary Dr. ZW, world-famous inventor and the driving force behind Lionel, the world's most popular model trains. As many of you already know, tomorrow marks the beginning of Lionel's annual Christmas display at Great Central Terminal. Always a much-anticipated happening. This year, it promises to be even more. Thank you for the kind words, Barbara. What exactly is it this year that is going to make it so special, Dr. ZW? When Lionel began a hundred years ago, our goal was to make the most realistic and historically accurate model trains possible. Over the years, Lionel and I have pioneered scientific breakthroughs in computer technology, remote control, robotics, and now, miniaturization. With our new breakthroughs in molecular and quantum physics, I can tell you and your viewers that Lionel is now capable of creating real 
Miniature trains, not simply working models. Are you saying that your model trains are no longer models? That they are... Exactly. But that would mean that you would need real... Exactly right again, Barbara. Running scale-sized, real steam locomotives will require scale-sized and real... Real what, Dr. ZW? Let's just say, my dear, that no one who views this year's Lionel Christmas display will be disappointed. Thank you, Dr. ZW. You've heard it from the master himself. Stay tuned for what Dr. ZW promises will be the surprise of a lifetime. Catch all the action right here, live on World News Service. Forget. Wait for my signal. I'll give you the sign when Pullmore and the old man aren't around. Yes, yes. We've been over this a million times. And be sure you're careful with the World Cruiser. The circuit board is very delicate. Stop worrying. This isn't our first job. Besides, Harley has a gentle touch. Dad, my gosh, it's awfully late for these two to be up. <laughs> Don't I know it. I can barely keep my eyes open. But these two just wouldn't take no for an answer. After all, they are Pullmores. I'll get Joe. Maybe he can show the kids around. Well, I thought you two were never going to take a break. I'm amazed you two would leave your precious world cruiser for even a moment. Not to worry, my dear. Joe insisted on locking our darling creation into its metal case, and I've left our trusty Bruno to guard it. I told the kids you would show them around. They're here? Oh, there they are.
be right there, honey. I need to check something. Bruno. Quick, grab the case and let's get out of here. It's pulled it to the bench. Then I guess we'd better open it. It's locked! Well, then break it open. Hey, you two, what are you doing? Back up, back up! It's locked in the case! You two, stop! Get away from there! Stupid case. Open the engine and take the circuit board.
what's on the table. Be right down. <sighs> well, wake up that sleepy-head brother of yours, too, kiddo. Sure thing, Grandpa. Come on, Bobby. Morning. You had the dream again, didn't you? Yes. 500? 500. Anything new? I'm not sure. Grandpa woke me up before it was finished. Good morning, sleepyheads. Oh, why do we have to get up so early? It's Saturday. <laughs> Saturday makes no never mind to the yard boss, Bobby. The crew has freight to ship, passengers to move. I know, I know. That makes you the yard boss and us the crew. And freight to ship means take out the trash. And passengers to move means shovel the snow. Right you are. <laughs> Best darn crew I ever had. Everything okay, kids? One of you uh, had the dream again. Both of you? It was Nancy this time. Well, what was it like, sweetheart? It was nice, like always. Was it the World Cruiser? Yep. Well, did you get to see who was sitting in the front seats? Nope. Like always, I could see the people in the seats, but I couldn't see who it was. Yeah, that part really gets me. It's like you can reach out and touch whoever it is, but you can't see who they are. And even though I can't see you or Grandpa or me, I feel like we're all there and on our way someplace really special. Grandpa, could it be Mom and Dad in the control seats up front? There's no way to tell. But I like to believe it's your Mom and Dad in those high boy control chairs, looking out for you and Bobby. Baby, I am glad you and your brother have these dreams. I really am. In a way, the dreams are like little visits. But, honey, you gotta remember that they're only dreams. I know, Grandpa. I know. Uh, how, how about as a special treat, I whip up a batch of chocolate chip cookies? Great, Grandpa, but can we work on the layout before we tackle our chores? <laughs> sure thing, Bobby. But make sure you and your sister get things squared away before dinner time. <laughs> still love you and need you. So do I. What is it? Look. Oh, it's probably just... Whoa! Nicely put, Shakespeare. You didn't change it? Nope. Or maybe Grandpa. Grandpa didn't do this. 
last night, it was the 1954 billboard, the Lionel's Santa Fe Super Chief. Now I remember from my dream. The pulsing light was this billboard, right over the Lionel factory gatehouse. It's a sign. It's a message from Mom and Dad. Fresh cookies, straight from the oven. Grandpa, look at the billboard. It has to be a message from Mom and Dad. Now we have to go to the factory. There's no other explanation. Yes, there is. It's very simple. I did it. But, Grandpa, that's not possible. I said I did it. It's only a dream. No, Grandpa. This is the sign. Now is the time. You said when the time is right, we go. We've been through this a million times. It's only a dream. I said I did it. It's only a dream. No, Grandpa. This is the sign. Now is the time. You said when the time is right, we go. We've been through this a million times. It's only a dream. Rumors swirl regarding the mysterious disappearance of the brilliant young couple. Dr. Z.W., a fall from grace. Lionel physicists disappear. Daffy Genius under investigation. Charges brought in Great Central Mystery. The mystery deepens in the disappearance of Lionel Physicist and his wife at Great Central Terminal. Tornado hits Great Central. Famous inventor Dr. Z.W. called to testify before the Senate Committee. Z.W. to stand trial. Guilty. Banned for life. Even after all this time, nobody knows what really happened. Hmm. I think somebody does. And if I'm right, they're telling us that the answer has something to do with the old factory. I wish there was a way we could have told Grandpa. Me too, but we had no choice. We've been over this a million times, but what exactly are we gonna do when we get there? I have no idea, but if the billboard was a message from Mom and Dad, there has to be another one that will tell us what to do. This used to look. The layout was here. Remember the observation room? Get in here. <gasps> 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 
You kids scared me half to death. Grandpa! We're so sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, too. We love you, Grandpa. Let's get out of here. But Grandpa, the train back home is this way. I know, Bobby. We're not going home. We're going to finish what you kids came here to do. Hello, Ed. You're looking well. <gasps> My goodness. My goodness, indeed. Please, come in and close the door. Uh, now, let me have a good look at you both. After all, it's been a long time. Uh, I dare say I... I can see a lot of Sally in both of you. And of course, that makes you very lucky children. Uh, I had so hoped I'd have more by now. We need to talk. They're all here. Move in. Don't you see, Dr. ZW? The dream, the billboard, all of it pointed us to you. It must be Mom and Dad. You must have a way for us to contact them or even to find them. My dear. Of course, I understand your feelings, but you give me too much credit. The sad truth is, I, I still don't know exactly what happened that night. Your father was making great strides in the alteration of molecular structure. <laughs> don't you see? This might be a bigger breakthrough than any of us thought. A power supply that could be the answer to the world's energy problems. Cleaner than coal, cleaner than oil, safer than nuclear, and absolutely infinite. But I need more time. The effect was stunning. But dangerous. I couldn't resist real engineers, brakemen, coal-shoveling firemen, and the chance to be seen as the creator of my own world. Hubris. All hubris. But where did Joe and Sally go? What happened? You must know. I'm not sure. The circuitry in the world cruiser hadn't been fully refined. Joe was working on it. Joe, any chance you could give me a hand with the generators? Yeah, sure thing. And to make matters worse, I tinkered with it. Trying to make it interact with the robotic features in each of the worlds. Joe warned me not to do it. He needed more time to create safety barriers and power cutouts, and, and I promised him I wouldn't, but the temptation was too strong. You still haven't answered the question. Where are they? I don't know. best guess is that they were pulled into another dimension, a literal Lionelville. They could be living there right now. What if you're wrong? Most unfortunate. 
How unfortunate is it? Well now, this seems to be a night of surprises from the past. First, the delightful appearance of you three, and now we seem to have more company, which I fear will be far less convivial. <sighs> Bruno, my boy. I never did give you enough credit. I need you all to understand that we are in some danger, and I want you to do exactly as I say. There is no time for questions. Take the kids downstairs, quickly. Let's go, kids. Hurry. CW, come on. I have to download my research. I can't leave the data. Going. What's the plan? To Lionelville, of course. Whoa! Now wait just one minute. You just said... I said I didn't have the answer. I did not say I hadn't made progress. I even built my own test fixture, which I'm confident will breach the barrier. W what about getting back? Not a chance without finding Joe. Out of here? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. All right, children. I need you to both follow my instructions. Bobby, you monitor the pressure gauges. Nancy, take the stabilization bar. Ed, you know what to do. Stoke up the pressure and pour it on!
Ultra now. 250. Any sign of activation? What do you mean? Up there. It'll light up when we reach activation point. And what is that? I don't know. I just know it has to be higher. Shoveling it! We need more pressure to activate, or that wall up ahead will be the least of our troubles! You crazy old maniac, you're gonna kill us all! We need more pressure! We can't go over 450. She's gonna blow! Shut it down! Shut it down! I know what I'm doing! But what if you're wrong again?
just like the dream. It's better, Bobby. It's real. I just know we're gonna find Mom and Dad. You two were great back there. Best darn crew I ever had. Circle world. Look, Cascade Logging Camp. Frontierville. The Empire State Express. Here's the Santa Fe. Lion Hellville Terminal. Like to check out the Arctic Circle Express. It has the coolest sled dogs. Well, I wouldn't mind paying a visit to the Union Pacific train barn. They got a great old big boy up there. I just want to find mom and dad. Gretta Gabor. Oh, must be on her way to Hollywood. There go our doughboys off to France for World War One. Dr. ZW, you got us here. No, thank you, both of you. What do we do now? How do we find Mom and Dad? There has to be another message. We just have to find it. I fear we're not the only ones looking for them. We mustn't attract any undue attention. And most of all, look out for anything that looks suspicious or odd. I see what you mean, but be careful, nonetheless. This is so cool. <laughs> There's the Ringmaster from Lion Hill Circus World. I was right. It is Lionel Phil. I never imagined. 
imagined it would be like this. Good afternoon, ladies. <laughs> Cowan's electric toy trains. Stick with it, son. I think you're on to something. <laughs> Let's find an internet cafe and do an online search for mom and dad. <laughs> great idea, Bobby. You're not going to find any technology here that was invented after the real Great Central was built in... 1925. You stay here with the twins. I'll just walk over to the information booth. There, there, my dear. I'm quite unhurt. Look, look at it. It's Mom and Dad. Local inventor. Patents talking machine. Grandpa, look, it's them. Stop, Frontierville. All aboard, Frontierville! You got any newspaper? Why? You want to check the stock market? No, wise guy. I need to patch a hole in what's left of my shoe. <laughs> Why, look. What is it? What do you got there? Frontierville? Of all places. He looked everywhere, and he was in Frontierville the whole time? It doesn't make any sense. No, it makes perfect sense. He figured we'd look for him in the more modern worlds. Do we have enough for two tickets to Frontierville? <laughs> in your dreams. Uh, uh, I sense a cattle car in my future. <sighs> Here it is. The beginning of all our troubles. Correction. Our ticket home. They got away. We just never figured the old buzzard installed that much security. You're sure this is the memory pod? Yes, sir. I've reviewed the data. 
This time, ZW kept meticulous records. I have everything we need. I can have another test fixture complete with an engine on the tracks in 48 hours. You'd better be right, Bruno. I've waited a long time. A long time. 